hey guys what is up it is hoku welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've already subscribed and mahalo you guys for being here taking time out of your day to come join me again in another mindful mirror talk and pardon that if you hear that that's one of my neighbors having some fun on his quad or whatever now um perfect timing yeah <laughs> mm. just having me some kombucha and taking time to reconnect with self and spirit again. I pulled myself together a little bit. My eyes were puffy as fuck this morning. So I was like, girl, you need to you need to pull yourself together. Go wash your face, slap on a little bit of foundation, and put some lashes on. Because you looking like you, you've been through it, girl. So, damn, I haven't even used this contour palette. But I'm looking a little one tone, so I figure I'm going to just go ahead and use a little bit of um, contour to add a little depth to the face. I just wanted to um, oh, touch on the fact that it is indeed a new day. So for anyone out there that has been having a bit of a difficult transition into this month with new energies and new just shifts pulling us in all directions because I know I have I've had a bit of a you know life hasn't been that difficult but um I've definitely been feeling the emotional pulls lately I had a good I had me a good cry last night not gonna lie won't say what that was about but I'm all good I'm better you know um Sometimes I think it's just necessary for us to realize that things need to be released. You know, like I've been saying in the last couple of videos, like this water energy has really, um, has really been felt uh, within me in particular. And some things that, that need to come up and come out need to be washed, detoxed, rinsed, cleansed, you know? in order to start fresh, start start new, you know? So that's what we're doing right now. We are literally starting in a new day, a new dawn of gratitude, appreciation for all that we have in this moment, not dwelling on the bullshit of the past, letting that help us grow into the spaces and the places of where we need to be. You know, that's, that's, um, I think sometimes we forget to wake up in the morning and just be grateful for the things that we have in our lives. I mean, I know you guys hear it, I'm sure, enough, where it's like, okay, yes, we know that, be grateful, but what the fuck, how profound is that? I, I'm, I'm feeling like we hold our breath too much um, when there's a lot of things going on, when there's a lot of chaos, or there's just a lot of stress or a lot of emotions um, arising in our lives, we tend to kind of, um, almost out of instinct, out of spiritual instinct, we hold our breath. And we have to remember, every time we breathe, we bring in new life. We bring in more life to our, our bodily spaces, you know, and it fills not only our vessels and fills our cup, on a physical level but it, it fills us up on a spiritual level you know stop suffocating yourself um without even realizing it you know so today i just kind of wanted as i'm just sitting here i don't have to get ready to go anywhere so i'm not trying to rush on out the door on you guys but as i sit to kind of contemplate and think about the things that i've had on my mind lately um, in terms of self and family, I want to go ahead and pull some cards and just kind of play around, mess around, you know, and see what is in store for, for the collective today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from this Isis Oracle deck to just get a, a message out to you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the deck briefly. I like to kind of clear the deck of any um, past energy or intention and put new life, new intention into it. 
your purpose. Interesting, we got this card the last time. This is the Knot of Isis, which speaks on um, your spiritual destiny and the importance of allowing your spiritual tasks to be uncovered and discovered because you hold the power, the protection, and abundance. You are deepening your connection with the goddess that is within you, the god or goddess that is within you. So today's message... Oh, I didn't want to come out. So. Today's message... Um, So we, oh, we have two cards that came out over here. So I'm going to go ahead. All right. So the first card that came out is Wings of Isis. The Wings of Isis. It says, you have a special spiritual relationship with the angelic worlds. Part of your sole purpose is to birth angelic consciousness and values such as fearlessness, compassion, and service into this human culture. This oracle also brings you angelic assistance, intervention, and confirmation too. Who feels it, knows it, bitch. And I definitely feel that because lately I've been kind of on a, like I said, just rolling through the waves lately. Nothing has really even occurred in my life that has rocked me um, off my feet. I don't feel like it's a personal issue that I'm dealing with, so to speak. Um, I definitely feel the empathic energies coming from the collective, which has got me all kinds of teary-eyed, you know? I, I know I've been talking about water, the, the, the element of water lately, um, because I feel like that's what's been pulling a lot in my chart in particular. But that song, um, I can make it through the rain. I can stand up once again on my own. Cause I know that I'm strong enough to something, something. Anyway, um, for some reason that just came to mind because no matter how heavy the rain, no matter how hard the, you know, the hurricane weather forces may be in your life, no matter what's going on, you have a purpose to fulfill. And this purpose is to help guide the consciousness to a higher level to help raise the consciousness and raise the vibrations and that starts with waking up in the morning in gratitude to receive what is meant to receive every single day there's a reason why i'm here why you're here for us to connect the consciousness and you know i always say trust your vibe know your tribe there's going to be uh people that you automatically connect with on a spiritual level and that's your soul tribe right we've heard it before but every day it's important for us to make sure we are being our most authentic versions of self because how are you going to find your soul tribe how are you going to find your people when you're not even being real to yourself you know when you look in the mirror are you speaking to self you know out of angst or out of um self-doubt or you know how are you viewing yourself are you seeing yourself for who you truly are. When you sit down and you do mirror talk, are you really allowing the shadows, allowing those cobwebby corners um, of your soul be seen and be dealt with? I mean, you know, like when you, when you keep a home, a lot of the times things might look organized and okay, but when you move things aside, when you say, oh, let me, I haven't been here in a while. I haven't actually taken a look. Let me, let me pull this rug up. Are you going to find that there's a lot of shit that you don't just, you know, today, a perfect example of that today. Um, and mind you, I got four kids, so this is normal, but this is just uh, an example of the type of work you got to put in, in the physical and in the spiritual. But I went out into the living room and I, I was looking for something. And so I was looking through the couch, looking behind the couch, looking underneath the couch. And when I looked underneath the couch, girl, let me tell you, that shit needed to be lifted up. And, and I got all the toys and the dust bunnies and the motherfucking pens and pencils and all the shit that we done lost in the past couple weeks that was under the couch. That shit needs to be swept out, recognized, cleaned off. You know, if it's, if it's, if it's still something that can be used, clean that shit off and put it where it belongs. You know, if it's trash, rubbish, throw that shit out. You know, spiritually speaking, a lot of the times we try to present ourselves like, oh, everything's fine. Everything's okay. You know, like I got it together. I'm pulled together. But 
Only you know what is underneath the layers, what is beneath the surface, you know? What's hiding under your motherfucking couch? You know, there's a meme that comes to mind. It was like a Dave Chappelle meme when he did that, like, Rick James skit or whatever. But it was a spiritual meme and it was like, nice place, you know? Uh, spiritually speaking, you want to invite people in that connect with you, that connect with your authenticity, that see you for who you are, and then look around in your spirit and in your soul, you know, connect with you and be like, you know what, you're my people, you know, I can, nice place, you know, you keep shit clean and you keep, sh you, you keep yourself accountable for the things that aren't clean. And you work on that on the daily. That is our purpose, to work on that. But that is our purpose to raise, that's why we're here, you know, to take accountability, but also to help assist others in birthing that consciousness within themselves and to do it in a way that creates values of fearlessness, compassion, and service. The next card we pull, we pulled. Ooh, she looks fire. Girl is serving face. Look at that. So this is the dark mysteries card. The dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. Mm. And I remember we pulled the chamber, like delve into the chamber, chamber of healing. That is where we are at um, going into this month. That is where we are at spiritually going into ourselves is to really take a look at what's inside, what's underneath that couch, what needs to be cleared out, that space within ourselves where we need to face our fears and release them. Sometimes when, when those things are swept under the rug or like, you know, pushed aside, it'll bubble up, it'll come up when you least expect it. When you're not even feeling like anything is wrong, those things will always be brought to light. Truth always comes to light. So face the mirror it looks like she's staring right at herself you know release the fears within that have been secretly holding you back and that's what i felt like yesterday when i had a good cry i mean i was releasing all these things were coming up and it was like hold on to your ass girl because what is that <laughs> samuel L. jackson hold on to your butts because shit about to go down um yeah um it, it, those things will come up and that water energy needs to flush needs to cleanse needs to purify so that you were able to receive the gifts of freedom, prosperity in all its forms. So that the divine can come through and serve you. So the next card that we got, and I'm going to try not to put it so close because I did notice I was putting the cards way too close to the camera. But the next card we got, ooh, when did I pull this one on camera before? This is the Temple of Carnelian. This reminds me of you stepping into your power. You being guided by your omakua, your spirit guides, your animal spirit guides, your ancestors into the higher um, frequencies of consciousness. So at least that's what I'm getting from this card. But this is Temple of Carnelian. It is time to trust in your own boldness and courage, taking risks that feel true to your heart and engaging in practices that make you feel truly and genuinely alive, embodied, and more of yourself even if not always comfortable, are going to help you live the life you were born to live. Who else needs to hear that motherfucking message? Because I know I do. Sometimes we fear. Um, we have fears that we need to remember to, to look at, to sweep out, to bring up and wash away. Um, and that will allow us to step into our boldness and our confidence. Yeah, To engage in practices. Me, I, I've said it before, but me even just being here on camera is a little bit like shit i don't know who's gonna be watching i don't know who's gonna be judging but you know what i'm not here for that I'm, I'm here for the the rising the the assisting the facilitating of our collective consciousness yeah part of your soul purpose is to birth angelic consciousness the cards don't lie so yeah this one says these practices these positions these purposes that are meant for us it's time to get bold it's time to have the confidence it's time to put away the fears really delve within and wash all that shit away so that we can step into our purpose last card we pulled is 
life restored. Did I not say wake up with gratitude for the new day? This is newness. This is rebirth energy. So this looks like the scar of beetle. It says life restored, spiritual resurrection, resurrection, rebirth, renewal, reconnecting with self and spirit. Yes, spiritual resurrection is gifted to you now. Whatever part of you or your life you thought to be dead is being revived and will flourish back into the life just as the phoenix rises from the fire, transitioning from death, from that rebirth cycle into life so too will you rise again healed and renewed <sighs> mahalo mahalo for this message it was needed it is received in gratitude so we're stepping into you know this 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 new month we're stepping into these new cycles we're stepping into the, the powerful portal energies and we're we're having to to go into those inner chambers we're having to look what's beneath the surface the things we're, we're having to go around and dust you know our fucking place sweep out shit that doesn't need to be there so that we're able to step into our, our roles and our purposes in confidence. Yeah? So that our rebirth process, our renewal, our resurrection process will bring will bring the abundance, the flourish the flourishing energy of life back into your spirit. Yeah? Which again that breathing, that breath work, that restoring of life, of oxygen, of healing into spirit. I like where this is going, this message, because I definitely feel like everything is as it should be in terms of what is meant to be known, what is meant to be seen, as we truth seek and truth speak. Any other guidance for the now? Okay, Mahalo Spirit. So, last card from this deck. Well, well, I held it upside down and I was like, look at this, like, this fire energy. It looks like a, like a campfire, right? But then obviously, this is how the card is supposed to. But any way you look at it, I mean, this, this fierce energy is being poured right into the, the, the receiver of this pyramid, yeah? Pyramid of light, psychic protection. As a being of light, darker energies may at times seek to interfere with your spiritual progress. Yes, I felt it yesterday. I've been feeling it, but don't let it. Don't, like I said, don't let that rain. I said this in another video, but don't let that rain that's fallen down that you feel, those water energies. Don't let it extinguish your light. Let it water the seeds that have yet to grow, but don't let it extinguish your light. Don't let it snuff out the soul purpose that it lies within you so yes don't let these darker energies um that are seeking to interfere with your spiritual progress uh, burn out your light there is nothing to fear and only more awareness of the power and protection of divine love to experience the pyramid of light confirms that energies have been causing interference with your path and it is now time to put interference to cease completely through loving divine power through love People want to send hate. People want to send uh, skepticism, criticism, doubt, whatever the fuck type energies. Block them. You blocked. Light your fucking candles. Create your sacred spaces within and without. Breathe. Know that you are divinely guided and protected. Know that whatever is trying to interfere with your reception, because this is like, like, like a, um, what do they call that? I want to say cell tower, but you know how there's uh, radio towers that receive the frequencies and whatnot? You are receiving the divine light right into your chambers, right? Isis. Right into your inner chamber. And yes, there will be, be people listening. So it reminds me of what I used to talk about with my friends about how we're all obviously radiating on a certain frequency, right? Because we are energy. What we speak, what we say, how we think, how we act, it's all resonating on different frequencies. And so trust your vibe, know your tribe. Those that are going to be receiving of your energy and your frequency um, will hear the message. 
They will be the ones here sitting with you, understanding what you're, you're speaking on and receiving it in grace and gratitude, just as you would with someone who resonates on the frequencies or elevated frequencies that you either are on or desire to be on. When, when people tune in, it's either because they are, it, the message resonates with them or they're tuning in. How do I say it? It's like not all people that are tuned into your frequency are there to fucking support you. They're not there to um, understand or comprehend or overstand the truth, uh, the divine truth seeking and speaking. They're there to sort of either be critical or take notes or project their own um, darknesses, insecurities, bullshit, whatever is under their couches. They'd be trying to like get rid of it and dump it on you. So just be careful, be aware that as you emit these frequencies, there will be those that are tuned in out of love and there will be those that are tuned in out of fear, frustration, doubt, whatever frequency they're on. Don't let that change who you are. And always remember that no matter what is projected onto you, block that shit with love. Don't receive low frequencies. Always emit, always project the frequencies of divine love because love is a language of truth, right? We don't always want to hear the truth, but the truth is there to be spoken and to be given, to be gifted out of abundant and divine love for your healing. Because like you said, I'm here, you're here to facilitate our soul purpose, which is to raise the consciousness. It's to birth the angelic consciousness of human culture. So yes, there will be interference. People will be trying to like create static on your channel. But no, give them love. Divine love, always. So yeah, hopefully that speaks to one of you guys out there or many of you guys or whatever the case may be. I'm also seeing this card. It just pulled me. Wow, I didn't even know what it was. Um, again, I'm, I'm still learning these cards. I'm still playing around with and getting to know some of my newer decks. So... I didn't even know what this card was, but we have the High Priestess. High Priestess energy, that's what and who you are. A mystery is to be unveiled. A new clarity around your direction is unfolding. Be willing to wait for the full reveal, but also recognize what is happening at this time. You will be gaining valuable insight into where you are being led and for what purpose true story high priestess energy look at her this is you and this is your higher self this is your divine just dripping in gold just powerful blocking all of those negative dark energies and frequencies that be trying to interfere with your projection of love and truth but spirit got you hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video but until then Please stay guided and protected in divine love, abundance, prosperity, wellness, health, happiness, strength, trust, and yeah, more love and more life. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love, light, and always aloha.